Hi guys, and welcome back to my craft table. Today is a uh, another another uh, Pinterest inspired. I am always on Pinterest. I I just love what you can find there. And today I am going back to my first love uh, wood, and I saw this little rustic primitive whatever you want to call him snowman and I thought oh, how easy and how cute he would look great on my front porch everything I'm thinking about lately is front porch so I went and dug through my uh, box of scraps and I found the three pieces of wood that I needed and I will show you and show you what you need super simple. Alright, of course you're going to need your three pieces of wood. And these um, were, I'm pretty, they're two by four and they were like the end pieces that were cut off. And all you have to do, it doesn't have to be a two by four, it can be just stack up. I have no clue how long each one is. All I did was basically stack them up, see if they look like a snowman. This looks like a snowman to me. So you need three pieces of wood. You need uh, your paint. And I am going to be using a, a dark brown for the base. So, and of course, chalk is my, chalk paint is my go-to. So I have the Waverly chalk and this is the truffle. It's a dark brown. And then of course you want to paint over the dark brown with the white to make the snow type thing. And this is just plain white in the Waverly. And of course for some of the details you're going to need some some black. And um, I pulled out um, a little bit of orange for his nose and um, let's see what else we have you're going to need of course your paint brushes to paint with um, things to bring it up off your uh, workstation you're going to need a dab of glue I use this Loctite you can use any glue, whatever your favorite is. Um, it, this is uh, as good as super glue. It dries super fast, super clear, and I, it hasn't let me down yet. And because it's going to be outside, I wanted something a little bit more stable than um, the art glitter glue or the Elmer's glue. So, and uh, of course the twine. And whatever you decide for your decorations oh and you're gonna need a little uh, I'm going to sand mine but I'm going to use uh, a regular sander I am lucky enough to have uh, it's just the little mouse black and decker but I am going to distress it just like he is in the picture so um, if you don't have a sander or can't get to one, you're going to need some sandpaper. This is some leftover from another sander that I have just to distress the edges. Of course, like I said, the, t the twine, whatever you, you decide you want um, for your decorations. I pulled out some of this um, cloth. And this is going to end up as his scarf. Um, I found two big wooden buttons, and they're going to become his buttons. And I couldn't find anything uh, for his nose. I couldn't find a little piece of wood or anything like that. But uh, in my travels, I did find, I don't know if you can tell what this is. But it used to be uh, an eraser, and it was about this long. And I basically cut a piece off 
I just sliced it down the middle and then sliced it again at the end and it looked like a nose to me and I brought the orange out to make it into a nose so anyway that's what I'm gonna do so let's get to work here let's get some of the stuff out of the way the first thing I want you to do no matter whenever you're working with wood take a damp rag a damp rag not a wet don't be dripping and wipe your wood down get there's always dust sawdust um, you know you, the oils from your fingers whatever just and plus it brings out um, the wood grain and you can see um, the, uh, how pretty it turns out but you want to get that you don't want that holding um, your paint and stuff away from soaking into your wood you want it to soak in to it here and just before you start painting just give it a good wipe like you would the uh, a kid or, or yourself whatever as you're going out the door and no not a spit bath all right there you go and now the first thing I'm going to do of course is I'm going to paint the blocks and I'm going to use the dark brown so oh you know what I forgot of course my handy dandy fancy dandy palettes so I am going to start painting these and you do want um, to make sure that they they are dry so once you paint the edges in the top part walk away from it just totally walk away leave it alone let it dry because you want it completely dry you do not want to put the white on top of a damp brown you're not going to have white so I'm going to paint these brown and I will come back when it's time to paint the white so and don't go back. away and these are all nice and dry I've done the front and the back I like to finish um, the back parts of my projects it just for, it's a thing about me I want to be able to pick it up and see front and back all right so now we basically have to do the same thing only this time we're going to be using the white and it's just the Waverly white chalk and again we're just going to cover sides front back and let that dry and like I said totally dry please and thank you so as soon as I get these all painted up we'll be right back okay and we're back and I have painted the white coating and it's all dry and now we're going to distress and like I said um, I am going to use my sander but if you don't have a sander uh, just grab a piece of um, sandpaper and all you're going to do basically is the, the edges and the um, sides and you want to take you're going to need this is only a uh, 120 so this is a really fine fine piece you want you're going to want something a little bit a grittier um, 220 or something like that but you're just going to take and you're going to try to take it all the way down to um, the wood you want the wood to show so I am going to sand these down and I'll 
make sure to speed this up and turn the sound off a little bit. It's going to get a little loud. So. Basically, this is what you want it to look like. Really beat up, like it's been around for a long time. So I'm going to take mine out where I belong and finish off the rest of them. And I will bring them back and show you. So don't go away. And we're done. And as you can see, I've taken mine out and scruffed them up quite a bit. But this is the way I like them. This part is totally up to you. You can, uh, actually, you can leave them plain if you like. You can just do little bits along the edges or maybe the corners or, you know, that type of stuff. That is, but I'm just one of those that the more beat up they are, the more I just absolutely love them. So now we're just basically going to um, put our little snowman together and the, the fun part. And before I glue him together though, I am going to put all his little decorations on, which really don't consist of much. A couple buttons, his face his nose and uh, yeah again wipe your wipe your wood down it's got the sawdust and, and whatever on it and you don't want that uh, messing with your glue so there we go and my little snowman so far Alright, so uh, the first part, the easy part, I guess, would probably be the buttons. I found a couple little wooden buttons, just plain brown, and you can use anything on the the picture. They have a star, but you can whatever you like, whatever you happen to find in your stash, or uh, you run across in the store store and go, hmm, you know that'll work, you know that type of thing. Um, and before I put these down, uh, I have to get my trusty twine out. And I am going to make just a couple little um, twine bows and to go in the middle here. So I am just going to tie just a regular, just like you would your shoelaces, just a, the basic bow, if my coordination will stick with me for a minute. Probably not so much. There we go. And I'm going to make it small. And just about like that. So, and I am going to get out my glue. I'm actually, I'm going to make another one so I could just pop them right in there after another. So just another. You can tell how coordinated I am. My hands are not cooperating today. It's just one of those days. 
I have my good days and my bad days. I think we're all like that. Sometimes you can feel like you can do anything. And then your body turns around and goes, uh, no, you can't. So, oh, gosh, talk about lopsided. Um, yeah, well, it's a little cockeyed. And one's going to be smaller than the other. But I think I'm going to learn to live with it. It's not so terrible. All right. So there's my two little bows, just plain old. I'll make this one smaller so it's not so drastically big. And grab my glue. And it, this is brand new, so I can't remember if I've opened it or not. So. Oh, yep. Yeah. So I am going to put a daub where I want my button. And I'm going to put the button. Just like that. You can use hot glue. Um, anything that you think is sturdy enough. Uh, it depends on where you, you're going to put it. Like I said, mine is going to be outside. So I wanted something that I knew for a fact would hold up to the weather. And this, like I said, has never let me down. And I can pick it up right at Walmart where I'm always doing my shopping anyway and it comes in so handy for other than just craft things and put the little oddball here put him down there we go Sit that right down in there. A little cockeyed. I want it a little cockeyed. And I'm going to let that sit for a minute before I trim it up. Um, the nose. Uh, I'm going to find the nose. And this does have to be painted. I don't think I want a pink, a pink nose. I think I want an orange one. So I'm going to I'm going to try and open this. Let's see how we do here. And maybe not. Yeah, you can tell what I'm doing. Um, beat the heck out of it. Try again. There, see? Just a little bit of persuasion. And let's see. Just need a little one. One brush will do. And I'm going to paint this pretty pink eraser orange and I only need to do the front because I know the back is going to be glued down so I will drop some glue on that And I'm going to, of course, stick my fingers in everything I can. Mm -hmm. 
That's the fun part about crafting. You can get as messy as you like and you always have an excuse. And I honestly, I don't own anything that doesn't have at least um, paint or maybe a dab of glue that was left to dry too long, you know. But that's just me. Alright, now we need some eyes. So, uh, and again, I get to fight with another bottle. <sighs> Let's start right out with beating it. And this one's going to be a more stubborn. Oh, there. But persuasion. Just a little persuasion. Alright, let's put some eyes on this little boy. And he is supposed to be primitive, so you don't have to get fancy dancy with him. They're just basically two circles. And I keep forgetting these not stuck together. So just two. Two fairly round. Circles for his eyes. Let's try to even that up just a hair. This one's just a little smaller. Fill that out just a little bit. There we go. And I like personality. So I am going to add just a little bit of an eyebrow. There you go. And on the picture that I saw, it did not have a mouth. So I am going to leave it. I'll probably look at it later and go, <laughs> uh, you need a mouth, but it's, it's, it's a personal preference. You don't have to put a mouth. You don't have to put anything, actually. So there's part of the face. And I'm going to do it anyway. Yes, I'm going to stick my fingers in paint. And I'm going to put a daub. Yeah, I wish you guys could yell at me when I get out of camera because I just totally forget. And I'm going to stick the nose right there. Mm -hmm. Give it a push. Like that. And let that sit for a little while. Alright, now his scarf. We are almost done, by the way. As you can see, he's coming together quite well. And uh, like most of my crafts, the longest time you'll spend is watching the paint dry. Right. So I picked this. I had this laying around and it's just a um, piece of uh, material. Um, it was in the scrap bin at uh, Walmart and they're all different lengths, sizes and color shapes, whatever. And they come, they're always less than a dollar. And there's 
I've used this a lot. I use this on my rag garland. Um, so this is just basically what's left. And there's so much you can do with the, you know, just scraps. You don't need to buy a whole bunch. So I'm going to, I want it about, actually, I'm going to pull it right here. Just, just a little um, snip. There we go. And when I glue him together, I will wrap this around like that. And hopefully it's long enough to make a silly tie like that. And I'll probably put another dab of glue just to hold that down like that. But for right now, we're going to let this glue dry. And I'm not... Look at that. I'm not having a good day. All right. Oops. One dab of glue, one button, one bow. Need a little bit of pressure on them, so I'm going to stick these, maybe. Something bigger. There we go. So I am going to stick these on like that. And I'll even put one on the nose. Like that. And I'll be right back and it'll take about five, ten minutes. Don't go away. And we're back. And everything is very much dry and glued. So now all we have to do is glue him together. And the easiest way I've found is to take the block in the middle to start with and add your glue. And then take your bottom one, and you want to kind of squiggle it around. So the glue, you can feel it start to stick, so it no longer shuffles back and forth. And lay it down so it's nice and flat. Like that. And you're going to do the same to the top one. And you're going to take the top one and you're going to kind of shuffle it back and forth until it stops on its own. Like that. Now, if you're smart, um, um, you will have a uh, a brace for this. I am not the smartest, you know, like they say, I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer. So I'm going to leave mine like this for, I'm going to say at least, I'm going to give it at least 10, 15 minutes to dry before I try to flip it up. And the last thing we're going to do is put the scarf on it, and we should be all done. So, 15 minutes, I'll be right back. Okay, we should be done. Let's see how lucky I get. Yay! We have a snowman. Alright, now all I want 
to do is add the scarf and I'm just going to fold it over. I like the frayed edges and put it around his neck. Give it a little fold. And then I'm going to, I think I'll stick it right about here. Now this I probably should have, I know I could have, used just the hot glue. It would have been much faster. But I already had my glue sitting here. So I'll hold it there for a minute. And I am going to trim up. It's not going to hold. Oh well. I'm going to trim this. And this one. And there you have it. <laughs> and I'll just stand here and hold this for a while. But you get the point. There is your snowman. Three little pieces of wood, just as long as they stack nicely. Um, some buttons, whatever you want to decorate. Some brown, some white, little sandpaper, and you have yourself a cute little snowman. And you figure out how to put that down. So, I hope I helped a little bit, and as you can see, not everything is perfect, and my day has been very imperfect. So, you have a good day, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye now.